Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Sunday School this Pentecost. So our candle is lit. It's kind of small and stubby right now, but it is lit. And that is our prayer for you, that you are happy and healthy and staying safe and being and kind. kind. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put that right and kind. Yes, and we're going to put that over there. I'm wondering if you guys are noticing anything different today. Anything? I'm blind. That's what you're blind. Different. Yeah, you have a hat on. So today is the day of Pentecost, and if we were at church today, if we were in the building, we would be wearing red, red like my hat, like Amelia's hat, and my stole. And Not like my milk. Not like your milk. Okay, you can put your milk down. Okay. So we would be wearing red because red is the color of what is what is the color of Pentecost. Pentecost, yeah, and Pentecost is about what? Oh, no. oh, you don't know? Okay. You have said, on? Oh, no. Oh, no. Red is the color of the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit is part God, of... the Father, the Holy Spirit. So, Father, Son, mm -hmm. and Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Yeah. So, we, we say that quite a lot. A part of God. I the know. Holy Spirit is an aspect of God. And... I'm wondering, Amelia, so we're going to start getting ready for the craft first, and then we'll, we'll have a conversation while we're doing the craft. Are you ready for that? Craft. Okay, can you be calm? Thank you. So what we need for the craft, I hope that you have received your pipe cleaner. You need a pipe cleaner, which um, if you are part of St. John's Sunday School, you actually uh, would have received one of these. So thank you to Janet for that. So a pipe cleaner. You also, along with it, will have received this sort of booklet that Janet made of, oh, there's four words. And Amelia, can you read out what the four words are? Just the words in English. <clears throat> just, the, just the big words, not not all the, the different ways we can say them, but. Hope or stick. Okay, say it nicely, secret. please. Hope, love, peace, and joy. Hope, love, peace, and joy. So you want to hold on to this because this is actually really important. Now, the other thing, Amelia, before we leave this for a little bit, what do we notice about all these other words? What are all the other, what are, are the, French, I mean, no, not French. Three, Farsi. Farsi, French, Spanish, Polish, Russian, and Jordan. Urdu. Dutch, Urdu, Dutch. Georgian. Georgian. English. Irish, Gaelic. Irish, Gaelic. Turkey, mm -hmm. Turkish, is Greek, Re mm -hmm. Co Korean, Korean, and Canada, Canada, and Latvian, Latvian, Japanese, is German, German, and, and Indian. Indi Indonesian. So these are the words. So under the words, joy is a whole bunch of ways we can say joy in many different languages, and it's the same for all. For example, no, no, thank you. So. Just hold on to that. So what you're going to need for this craft is you're going to need a uh, paper. Now a harder, we have construction paper, that's all we have left, but uh, a, a thicker or a stiffer paper would probably actually do the job better. So if you have like light cardstock, that would probably be best, but we have construction paper. And so what we're going to need is two pieces of construction paper. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, thank you two pieces of construction paper. So we've done a bit of it ahead of time because actually our battery ran out. So we've been through this once already. So this is Amelia's that she's done. So we cut a square and it's important that it's a square and we did two different colors. So Amelia chose red and pink and I chose orange and pink. And Amelia, do you remember why we chose these particular colors? What do they remind us of? What do they remind us of? They remind us of a windmill. A windmill. They remind us of fire. They're supposed to be like flames. And flames come in lots of different colors. So choose Boiler something that... Alert. Choose something that oh, comes... Hey, hey shh, thank you. Choose something that comes in lots and that reminds you of fire or wind. Because, mm -hmm. so Amelia... So the first thing we need to do is you need to cut a square out of two sheets of cardboard. Now we've already done that. And when you get your two sheets, then what you need to do is to, so you cut a square. 
So Amelia, I'm wondering what the Holy Spirit looks like. What does the Holy Spirit look like, Amelia? Mm -hmm. Hey, Mel, can you answer? Kind of important. Thank you, you press stop and don't eat. I press don't start. Sleep. Okay, start. Yeah. What does the Holy Spirit look like? The Holy Spirit looks like a dove. Looks like a dove. Oh, that's a really, that's a really good sign for the Holy Spirit, isn't it? Because. Because mm -hmm. if you remember, mm -hmm. in the, one of the first stories, mm -hmm. a dove goes to Jesus' little baby, little baby Jesus, a little baby, baby That's Jesus. I don't I'm not sure I know that story, but that sounds like a really good story. So the Holy Spirit looks like a dove, and um, so Holy Spirit looks like a dove. Can we see the Holy Spirit? No, because he's invisible. Because the Holy Spirit's invisible. The Holy Spirit is often also referred to as she. Oh. Yeah. But the, or, or not by any gender, but the Holy Spirit is invisible. But the Holy Spirit is all around us. And the day of Pentecost the is... The Holy Spirit. Thank you. The day of Pentecost is when we celebrate the Holy mm -hmm. Spirit coming mm -hmm. to the disciples. And when the Holy Spirit came to the disciples... They were still really afraid. Did you know that? They were still really afraid. And they were they had locked themselves in a room and the Holy Spirit comes and then all of a sudden they all start hearing everybody around them, all these people from all these different places and they understand their words. So they're speaking, even though they're all speaking in their own languages, which is why we have lots of languages. So when you've got your square cut out, what you wanna do is you want to cut from the corners in, but not all the way to the middle. That's really important. So if you want to be really precise, the first one I did, I was very precise. I used a ruler, but you can use a ruler, but otherwise just estimate and just leave a space in the middle. Now I found it easier to do when we were doing these before to do them all together so that all my pieces matched. Mom. My mute button, if you push my head, yeah, and that's my mute button. And that's your mute button. Is that gonna work when we stop filming? Because that would be, yes. I'm sure there'd be times when I could use that, yes. but right now I don't want your mute button on, other than when I'm trying not to, if you try not to drop and out. And then anything. if you had me on mute, mm -hmm. you can press it again, then I will speak. Okay, so once you've got kind of a really floppy square with four separate spaces if you can write the words hope peace love and joy yeah. on it now amelia i'm wondering why we wrote those words why do you think those words were important because why were those words important joy it's because basically I don't know. You don't know. Well, God comes, and the things God brings God to us. comes in, like, mm -hmm. hope, hope, yeah. peace, love, and joy. Or hope, peace, joy, love. Or, or hope, peace, joy. God comes love, in those joy, ways. Love, peace, hope. God comes in those or ways. But I think also, and God peace, comes. Joy, love, hope. Okay. God comes in all those ways. And God also, does God live in our hearts in all those ways, too? Yes. And 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 My and God, heart, your heart. right? And how does God want us to act? Wants us to act kindly. Kindly, yeah. In with joy, hope, peace, and love. And, love. and Jesus, um, after mm. Jesus went back into heaven, Jesus promised the disciples that they wouldn't be alone. That the Holy Spirit would come to always be with them and always remind them, which is why. I have oh, a please. question. Yeah, please. Were, um, was Jesus the Holy Spirit? I think uh, Jesus is a separate member of the Trinity. We're going to talk about the Trinity next week. Um, but so we have, we often, we often talk about the Trinity like a triangle. So we have God, we have Jesus, and we have the Holy Spirit. And like a triangle, so it's just a big triangle. 
and we're going to talk about more this more next week but it doesn't it's a like a, it's an equilateral triangle so it doesn't really matter which way we spin it it's all god but god has different parts or different ways of approaching god so that we can find god when we need god because it landed on flat it landed on flat so once you've got that done once you've got your things written the next thing to do is on both sides this is where it gets a little tricky so amelia actually wrote oh, hers got out of order but she wrote the words on both sides one in big letters and one in little letters to help them line up but what she did so this one says love on both sides and she's written the word she's written some of the words for love on her windmill so it says i and ask which are two words for love and uh she did a lot of them for peace so for peace she's got words all over the place all the Can different words them? uh no because that will take yeah. a long time so the next thing you want to do because this is kind of a long craft is to write as many words as you want or would like to all i would mm. say is write the big word on the outside and if you can write that would yeah write the big word on the outside so then after you've done that you take a pen or at, at one point i used a broken um paper clip but i can't find it now so you take a pen and you poke a hole right in the middle right where right where you didn't cut and you take the pipe cleaner yeah, and you I have one pipe. I'm, well, I'm going to show it in a second. So you, you want me to do it with yours? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. You poke a hole. Poke a hole right in the middle. But so. Second yeah. yeah. You don't need to poke a big hole because the pipe cleaner will poke a bigger hole. Okay. So then, but then, so you poke a hole right in the middle of both of them. And you want to stick it through a bit. And now you want to poke a hole in the corner, in mm -hmm. one corner of each of your squares. So if you poke a hole in this corner, then you don't poke a hole here, but you do poke a hole here. So you skip one. So it's like poke a hole, skip one, poke a hole, skip one, poke mm -hmm. a hole, skip one. Okay. Poke. And if you poke holes in all of them, that's okay. We just, yeah. mm -hmm. you got it? This one. Yeah, poke a hole. It's probably easier with a pen than that pencil. Do you want to do it with a pen? Mm. Pencil? Yeah, use the pen. It can be a little tricky. This part can be tricky and you might need your parents' help for it. Um, yeah, so we poke a hole and we skip one. We poke a hole, we skip one. We poke a hole, we skip one. And we poke a hole. <gasps> oh dear, that's okay. It'll be all right. And we... Poke a hole, even though we ripped it. So we gotta be careful. Um, then what we do is we take the hole. I mean, are you watching? We take the hole and we bend it, oh, I get it. I into get it. here. And then you take this one. Yeah, and you bend it. Oh. Yeah, I know it's a little trickier with two, but. Bending. Bending. So how do we, how are we reminded of the Holy Spirit, Amelia? Um, wind. Wind. So how much does mommy love the wind? A little too much. A little too much. <laughs> mommy loves the wind. And you guys get embarrassed because sometimes I close my eyes. And I'm always telling you to feel the wind. Because to feel the wind is to feel what? God. It's to feel God. I said Mm -hmm. love of wind a little too much. I know. I just love the idea of it. So, all right. So when you get this done, then you make a, you kind of crinkle it down. And now all your words are kind of on both sides. Now, it may or may not work as, it depends on, let me, okay, let me do depends. So I'm going to show you the one I made earlier. So this one was just one. Oh, I did it. So I also put a knot on the back to kind of hold it. Um, and then we have all these sort of winds. So we can put these out in our gardens. If you want it to work a little bit better, you can also take a chopstick and you can wrap it around a chopstick with, with your pipe cleaner or if you have more pipe cleaners at home, you can also do that. And you can go stick it in your garden and every time it blows, Mom, you got it, good. You 
are reminded of the Holy Spirit and how much God is still with us and loves us and God is active and God is with us in love and peace and hope and joy and helping us to act that way. So I hope that you have a good Pentecost and happy Pentecost, happy wearing red, and we'll see you soon. God bless. Bye-bye.